I always say to like our new members, you really meet women and get to know women that you necessarily wouldn't otherwise. Like it's not just from your workplace or from your kids' sports activities. And so I thought that was really neat. We just have all ages and just a big group, big variety for sure. Mm -hmm. And I actually had a friend who, um, her co-worker was in Junior League, and she's one of the very passionate ones. So the women who are in Junior League are very passionate, yes. so they tell everybody about it. We recruit people we, very, yes. really good. <laughs> that wasn't her job. She wasn't in membership. She wasn't recruiting. She was just at work, you know, in the break room talking about Wait, Junior who was League. was it? Nadine, okay. <laughs> the current president. Yes. So um, she was talking with her co-worker, who was Kaylee, my friend, and my friend was like, you really have to come. And I think she tried for about six months to get me to come to a meeting of some sort, and I just didn't have a lot going on and I thought okay I was like all right we'll give it a shot you know I'm gonna go and and they do a really good job of loving you up <laughs> when yep. you're a new face we love to see new faces and um yeah I was all in because you listen to them talk and like I said they're very passionate and I was like wow I can get behind something that is making an impact in our community um I'm Sioux City born and raised and I never knew that there was a discovery shop here on West 7th Street and I thought that was really interesting when I learned about it and I was like wow I could do more for the community that you know I live in and that I've lived my whole life in so I love it I've been in three years now now I was on the board right away, right away a quick yeah. start and they sucked me in <laughs> yep same with me too I went to a um, we call them ODIs they're organizational development institutes and we send some of our leaders there usually every year obviously not last year but um, and I went and I took the membership tract and then the next thing I knew I was membership vice president and went up from there so it was so cool there's over 200 and some leagues in the, well, there's four countries represented and 200, over 200 in the whole, with those four countries. Most of them are U.S. So to meet women from all over that are doing similar things in their communities was just so cool. I was at a playground with my son last year and I was like, this is a junior league project. And there was like, you know, a big sign up and stuff and it was just really neat. I've been to that playground before and just never made the connection. So seeing all the impact that they do around town mm -hmm. was really neat. And my son knows, you know, to say, like, that's what you do now, you know, yep. mom, your second job, the one that you don't get paid for. So. <laughs> right, right. We um, had a celebration last week at the Warrior, which was fantastic. Um, it was like a gala, sit down, dinner, and we had a speakeasy before, a little VIP section, which was fun. Um, everyone dressed up, 1920s apparel, and then there was an awesome program put on by one of our members, um, Sheila Brummer. And it went back and interviewed a bunch of um, our old members and current members on our different projects. Mm -hmm. um, my part of it was at the Chocolate Mansion, because that was where our very first meeting was in 1921. So she did a great job of trying to get different spots that are connected to us involved. And mm -hmm. that was a highlight. How many members do you guys have today? We are over 250 between the two different groups. Um, and I'd say active members were about 50. OK. Mm -hmm. It's a nice reminder that, especially for new members, you know, it's not just about what we're doing today. I mean, there, we've been doing this for a hundred years. Right. And to look back on those past journal articles and see and how, I mean, literally every time somebody, I think, was in the league, it was announced in the journal, which was so cute. So like, cute. You know, like the provisional misses. members. Yes, mm -hmm. all their new members. I mean, they were proud of it. In the journal, that was like a big deal. Somebody was joining mm -hmm. league and it was kind of, you know, an elite society back oh, yeah. then. And seeing all the names and seeing how they're connected to all the neat businesses the long-standing businesses around town are, it's so neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we're one of the oldest ones, I mean, for being a small city, because Junior League itself, the association started in 1901 in New York City, and then only 20 years later we started, which we're ahead of a lot of leagues. Um, so we, we're very proud of that. Because, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, we're, we're not a huge city, so to be one of those 1921 organizations is awesome. That was a big time for women and women's rights and women's voting, so it makes sense when it's What are the big changes that you have seen over the years? How has Junior League grown and changed over the years? I think um, most notably recently, you know, we change our requirements mm -hmm. and getting more women involved. We want to see women from all um, walks of life mm -hmm. in different areas in their life. You know, it's it used to be more of an elite society, like I said, and now everyone's welcome in Junior League. So we really took a look at what the requirements look like, and we wanted to make it so that anyone could be involved. You know, whether you were a working mom, you didn't have to be a stay-at-home mom now to be in League. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all work, and so we took a, a lot of 
of those, you know, volunteer requirements and how many hours. We used to literally track how many hours mm-hmm. you had to volunteer, and we don't do that anymore. You know, now we say we'll take you for however many hours that you are willing to contribute mm-hmm. because we're kind of, you know, everyone is welcome here. So that's kind of what I think. For definitely. And that was a trend we followed for the National Association because they saw – a need for women to give what they want to give, right? So if they're working, like she said, um, and just want to volunteer a couple hours a month, great. If they want to do more than that, great. We we just want what women can give. Um, I think it's neat because we, you know, bring our kids to different things and we just make it work, you know, different years are, are different for everybody. So when you're a board member, you get, you have to give a little bit more, but if you're not, then you can kind of pick a lot more membership driven, I guess, and membership focused. Mm -hmm. And diversity and equality yes. is huge. It's huge. Um, especially with the upcoming year, in these last years, I should mm-hmm. say. I mean, league as a whole is really putting a good focus on that. Mm-hmm. So we want to make sure that we are a, a diverse league and that everyone is welcome. We're a really service-driven community, which is awesome. Sioux City's great. Tons of nonprofits. But we don't want to just be like, oh, here, we'll go over here and help you here. We won't help you here. We want something that really makes a difference and mm-hmm. and can continue, continue on, like she said. So... We'll do it until it doesn't work for us anymore and then pick pick another one and Mm -hmm. 